Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Eddie from EJB Electrical and today we are in not so sunny uh, Bishop's Dalford <coughs> doing some outdoor heaters for a client of mine uh, on a pagoda. Um, so let me just walk you around the job quickly I suppose. Uh, let me change the angle of the camera. Okay so you've already found me look I've already cut this out the reason I've cut this out is because they've put the board into the wall and I need to get an armored cable which I'm hoping to fit down here somewhere this is the main incoming cable into the board so I've drilled that I've cut that out sorry and I'm going to drill through the wall at an angle to come out let me take you out here I'm going to come out behind this to then run low level along the floor under the gate um, along here and this is the pagoda so we're going to be putting some heaters and we're going to put a heater there and one heater up there and on that post there we're going to put um, two switch spurs external switch spurs so each one can be um, individually controlled if they want to the heaters themselves have got um, controls on them remote controls so they can select what heat setting they want and how long they want it on for etc so yeah that's my job for today um i'm i'm not really looking forward to the fact that they say it's going to rain today so i'm going to try and get this done as quickly as possible but i'll um i'll come back to you soon once we've got the job up and running a little bit okay see you soon Hello and welcome back. So I thought I'd give you a quick update on to how we're doing and what we're up to. So as you can see, let me turn that around there. I've had to cut quite a big bit out of the wall in order to get my armoured cable in. <clears throat> but luckily got a nice piece of wood there so I'll just put that piece of um, plasterboard back in. And then we're gonna, I'll take you out here. Let me swap this back over. So as it comes out, that's where it comes out of the wall. We fixed it to there and then gone along the floor. And then it comes along here, all surface, comes out the other side of that, comes along there, through our little step there. That's just literally, that's just to protect the cable and um, stop people walking all over it. And then comes over to the pagoda. And as you can see, we've already got one heater up there's going to be the two control points and then it comes up the wall there one of the interesting things with this is that it's actually let me show you that made out of metal so we had some um issues shall we say with actually fitting it and the pagoda itself has got a built-in gutter along the edge so I've had to think long and hard really about how the best way to fix it would be um I've come up with um a solution shall we say and the client seems happy enough the way that it's been done so that's as far as i've got so far i'll uh, do another video at the end of the job and then we we'll can hopefully fire everything up and you can see it all working okay um i'll see you again soon okay then guys here we are in the garage um as you can see we've got what i showed earlier on in the video where i've cut this out this is the feed off to the heaters that are at the pagoda so what i need to do is drill into this board here um, put a gland onto this fix it into the board um, and what we're going to do is this breaker here that was for some heaters within the garage is no longer being used so i've said i'm going to upgrade that to the 20 amp disconnect those cables and then just put the heaters for the pagoda into it um, so yeah come back to me in a minute and this should all be done and we can fire up the heaters hi guys and welcome back i just thought i'd do this quick little um segment so that you know that anybody who uh, maybe hasn't heard of or hasn't tried these particular little kiddies which are the swa earthing nuts really needs to get onto them they are perfect for little jobs like this so explain um when you put the let me just do it the gland once you put the gland through the board then you just attach the earthing nut to it and then you can take 
an earth off of the earthing nut and straight into your earth bar and that then earths your whole entire sheaf of the cable um, what I'll do is I'll put this in place put the earthing nut on so everyone then can see what it looks like when it's all done I'll see you in a minute hi guys as promised um, I'll show you this SWA um, earthing nut and now it's in the board let me just turn my camera around we'll have a look in here see so it's gone you just tighten it down onto your armoured gland and then you put your earthing on and then that earth comes up and here it is here all ready to go in once I've put once I've made off the said armoured this and then I've put it into there then it goes up and joins that and the way that it works is if you have a look on that this is an older one we've changed it slightly now but this literally the little grooves there they take the paint off as you're doing it up so that it then becomes a part of the metalwork of the consumer unit it's a really really easy and effective way of maintaining the earth all the way through to where you want it to be really um <clears throat> so um once i've got this armored in we'll connect it up and then i'll come back and show you the finished job hopefully Okay guys, see you soon. Okay, I thought, um, as this was a little bit different to the norm, I might as well show you everybody um, what we've done. So, if you can see, this is actually metal instead of wooden. So what I've had to do is use specific metal self-drilling um, screws so that I get a good fixing. If I take you round to my fixings pot, if I can find it. Here we go. I'll show you in here. These are the two different types I carry as standard. So we've got those. That's what I fixed the box with. And as you can see, they're made to drill themselves into metal. Although I always drill a pilot hole anyway, so that it makes the job a bit easier. And they're the ones that I've used on the cleats. So we've got a good fixing everywhere. <clears throat> These are the sort of things, obviously, that um, when I first come to have a look at the job, I saw straight away that it was gonna have its challenges because it was made out of metal. And also, I'll take you up here. It's actually got, so these, these fins turn, and this down there, let me show you, is, oh, can't really see, can you? This is actually a gully, which then goes down into the legs um so it's part of the rainwater runoff so i had to be careful if i show you there i've had to fix to the back of the metal rather than the front because this front bit is the gully so if i'd have drilled into that it would just leaked everywhere whereas see it was just a little bit of forethought really i suppose more than anything else uh, and now the spurs i'll open that up for you you can see inside there you go nice and easy I thought you might be interested to see <coughs> thought processes that go on um, in order to finish the job hi guys welcome back so as you can see I've finally got the heaters up and running and it couldn't have come at a better time because I don't know if you can see probably can't really pick it up but it is chucking it down with rain it's turned really cold um, so to have the heaters on actually <laughs> is really quite nice. And now, this is a really nice, let me just show you, usable space for the client. All in all, it's been quite an easy little job today. Apart from being out in the cold, of course. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the little bits that I've done. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see in future, then by all means, please um, put it in the comments below what you'd like to see me do in the future. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thanks guys, see you on the next one.